My name is Claire from Monroe Elementary, and my weather question is, how is wind formed, and why is there more wind in some cities? Great questions coming from Monroe Elementary. Claire, excellent. I want to talk about wind here and what's going to cause wind. Well, basically what you need is high pressure and low pressure. High pressure means you have a lot of air pressurized in one location, and it wants to expand out to, to areas of lower pressure where there's less air. And basically, we want the pressure is trying to balance itself out. So air flows from high pressure to low pressure, but it doesn't go straight from high to low. It goes clockwise around high pressure because of the earth spinning. It's called the Coriolis effect. So the air will spin out of high pressure clockwise and then go into low pressure. And what happens between the two, the pressure gradient is tighter. There's more force here. So the wind is blowing stronger in these locations. So that's what's causing wind to form. And as the sun unevenly heats the earth, some places more, some places less, that affects where the high pressures and low pressures are. And basically, that's how we're getting wind forming. Now in March, which you just finish the month of March and into April similar. We've got strong jet stream winds that are still pretty much overhead. Now the sun is coming into play. We don't have much sunshine during the winter time. It's not that effective, but now the sun, not really warming the air, it's warming the ground, solid objects. It heats the ground, warms the air near the ground. That air starts to rise. And what it does is it mixes the atmosphere up and draws down, transfers that energy down to the ground. So the stronger winds will often actually come down during the month of March. And that's why we tend to have March being a windier month. And with that jet stream Typically, this is the spot, and you asked, well, why are some cities not quite as windy and some wind, uh, windier than others? So near the jet stream, typically these cities are a little windy. Near Chicago, of course, the windy city. Uh, San Francisco and down towards San Diego, Las Vegas, not as much wind because they're not near the jet stream. So some great questions coming in as, as far as wind goes. And don't forget, downtown, the wind can blow through buildings that as it squeezes together is forced to increase speeds. And so downtown areas near buildings can be windier as well. Excellent question. There's actually three questions coming up regarding lightning in my special weather segment. We'll answer those coming up in just a little bit. Seven